In today's video, we're gonna look at the Zippity Easy Does It. This is a Washington vinyl picket fence kit, two pack. It measures 30 by 42, which is really interesting because when you look at this box, it's 46 inches tall, six inches wide, four inches deep. So I don't know how they get that much fence in here, but let's find out. Opening the box, we see that we have instructions and oh look at that we could actually make money by entering a contest isn't that nice of them so you have that instruction sheet some joiner clips some metal screws and then down here looks like we have some uh, rails back at this end some top caps end caps right there uh, according to the instructions it's 45 minutes to build this which seems like a really long time for just a bunch of plastic but let's see how long it does take to build it with everything out of the box I actually use the boxes to contain and help organize so I got my end caps my top caps there are two different sets of screws and they're labeled B and A, which is very nice. And then some joiner clips. Then we have top and bottom rails, which initially look identical. And the way to distinguish them is if you turn them over, they're still the same. But if you turn them over one more time, you'll see that the bottom rail does not have slots for the picket rails. So this makes this piece a bottom rail and makes this one a top rail. Do the same thing for the other two, then you're set. This is a look at the post for four of them because it's a double set and everything here is uh, vinyl plastic. So it should be interesting when we actually go to put these into the ground. The picket rails actually come in numbered sets so this should help make assembly fairly quick. According to the manual, all we need is a drill, the screw attachment, a level, and possibly a hammer. First thing we have to do is add end caps to the end of the top and bottom rail. They're already on one side, but not on the other. Why? Because that's where all the picket rails were stored during shipping. So once these are out of the way, just grab an end cap, put it on the end, and you're done. Do that to the remaining three rails. Next, we're gonna take the bottom rail, flip it over until it looks just like the top rail. Then we're gonna take one of our posts and with the diagonal edge facing inside, we're gonna slide this post through the top rail, through the bottom rail, and you see the pre-drilled pre hold here and here. There's one on each side, so a total of four holes. You're gonna go through the hole in the bottom rail and in the top rail and connect to the post. It says to use the H part in the instructions, but obviously our choices are A or B. The only tip we get is that we're using eight screws and it's three quarters of an inch. So that's gonna be your A. Despite what the direction said, I decided to take the post and put it through the bottom rail first and then try to align the two holes and get a screw through it. Things just kind of went downhill from there. And let's do the same thing to the top rail. Ah, made a mistake learning from the lesson. We need to take this post and come through the top rail first and the bottom rail. The reason being that there are notches here and the top rail doesn't want to go through that, at least not easily. So let's do it the right way. So in order to fix it, Take out this bottom screw, 
take out the post, run it through the top rail, run it through the bottom rail, and now I can align the holes and if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but the holes lined up, so now I'm just gonna put a screw here. And actually, pretty much just do that by hand. Now I'll do the last of it with the drill, and then we'll line this top rail and Just get that in position. Okay, now I know these two are set and all I need to do is grab another post, do the same thing on this side, making sure that the diagonal edge of this post is facing the inside of this entire fence. So, when you look at them face to face, both slanted edges are facing each other. See you in a bit. When done assembling the basic framework, you should have this. Two fence with no pickets in them yet. To install the pickets, we simply go by the order on the labels. This will take us from the long ones to the short ones, then we'll repeat a short one, and then we'll go back long so that our fence will pick it down and slope back up. And these will lock on the bottom with this little interlock here that you see. It's been cut out. So you just slide them in, no tools necessary. The instructions call for putting in the pickets this way sliding them through and catching down here at the bottom. I've discovered that because of this notch, it's gonna be a little harder to get it through the top rail. So save yourself the trouble and just slide it through the top rail from the bottom. Line it up at, on the bottom rail and you're done. Do the same thing for the rest of the rails. Just go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And that's not how to do it. Pay attention to the numbers and you won't go wrong. When done, this is the nice slope you should have on your fence. As you can see, I fixed the problem that I had on this fence. You simply have to pull really sharp on the bottom and it'll pop loose. And then remember, instead of trying to thread it to the top rail, just come underneath it, and that'll make reinstallation of that rail easy, just like uh, these all were. Now, don't make the mistake of putting on the end caps because you still need to put this post into the ground. And in order to do that, you're probably gonna have to hammer. So you're gonna put a block of wood and hammer down on this. And if this cap's in the way, you're going to break it because this clips and locks into position on two sides. So once this cap is on, it's going to be really hard to try to get it back off. So word to the wise, get a block of wood. You may have to water, break up that soil. If this spike, remember it's just plastic, doesn't really want to go in. But once you get your spikes in, then you'll put a level across the top, make sure your fence is correct. And then if you wanna join your two fences together, you have these joiners and the remaining screws, and you just bridge across the two fence, screw these in, top rail, bottom rail. If you're looking to do a turn, a 90 degree turn, you can do it this way with the other rail coming at this angle. Then you just bridge across with the joiners. In less than 30 minutes, you can assemble two of these. 
especially if you're not making a video. And it's got a nice look. They don't require any painting because it's vinyl. Colors white. Uh, minimal hardware, minimal tools to assemble. They'll look nice and finished with the end caps. No doubt this will last a long time. The hardest part will be just getting these into the ground and finding a location that you really like. But you may that may have that already in mind. And uh, remember, the kit comes with two. You can buy more. I do like this product. It's quick and easy. Uh, the vinyl means it'll be long lasting and with no maintenance whatsoever, except for maybe occasionally washing it down. And as the screws are weather coated, there shouldn't be any rust marks developing as time goes on. But should this coating fail, you can always just unscrew these out and put some new ones in there. If you found the video useful or entertaining, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, support us by subscribing. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.